It's the Seattle legend himself, Jamal Corver. We appreciate you coming on the platform, man. First question is, see, Seattle events like this, and you being such a stable in this community, what? <laughs> He, don't want no he said he's going for. He said he's going for thirty. He said he's going for thirty. He said he's going for thirty. He said he was actually going for thirty. I don't know if he's really going to do that, but he's going to try. He's going to try. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot a lot. So, what does this mean to do things for the Seattle community? Like, what do you mean to this city? You thinking? How does it feel to be such an impact? It's dope. I mean, being a kid, dreaming about being in this position, dreaming about impacting others in different ways. I mean, you can have dreams, but sometimes they don't come true. But. I think when you keep your heart in the right spot and keep people first, things like this happen. Obviously, the even though the Sonics aren't here, the feeling is still here. And the NBA is talking about expansion and the potential for the Sonics to come back. What would the Sonics mean to this city? They're everything. They help shape my dreams and mold them. Having a Gary Payton and a Sean Kemp and Detlef Strip and guys like that to look after. Having them come to your games, I, I think for me, it, it definitely set the tone. It gave me that fuel I needed and hopefully we get them back one day. So obviously Lou Williams had just announced his retirement recently. And obviously you guys are known as two of the greatest six men to ever do it. But my real question to you is if you could give us your starting five off the bench team all time, who would your five be? I wouldn't put on I wouldn't be on there. I'd never put myself on those lists. Any list. I would put Lou, Manu, Detlef, Kevin McHale, Havlicek. Hold on, we got one of our another Seattle legend himself wants to talk to you. <laughs> Yeah, cool. hey, it's, it's been a while, Ma. You know, I, I didn't hope to get you plenty of times. Yeah. Tournaments, LA Fitness, we didn't have some crazy runs. By the way, my man Shaq wanted me to tell you hi, too. That's my uh, we actually on our platform right now, Player's Choice. But, you know, being a Seattle guy, I got to ask you real Seattle questions. Who's the best beach hooper other than Mark Crawford? We know, it's, we know it's the Jamal Crawford court, but who's your favorite beach hooper? Hey, the list is long. I'm going Doug Christie because he set the tone. He set the tone for me, so I'm going to go Doug Christie. Uh -huh. Hey, Doug Christie's a good one. And now i got to ask you Garfield. Who's the best Garfield hooper? Brandon Roy. And that's easy, huh? That's easy. <laughs> All right. Roy is just yeah, yeah, Franklin? Jason Tier. Yep, yep. Or Antoine Williams. Shout out Antoine Williams. You could do like a slash for him. No doubt, no doubt. And last but not least, who's the best Michigan hooper of all time? My favorite is Jalen Rose, but it's probably see wherever Cassie Russell. Uh -huh. No doubt. Hey, Jamal, I appreciate you for coming on the platform. I appreciate you for doing this interview. We're going to let you get to your warm-ups. Isaiah Thomas, we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us here at Player's Choice. My first question to you, man, is what does this atmosphere, atmosphere feel like for you? I mean, it's everything. To get back to the community, to see so many, you know, smiles on people's faces. At the end of the day, that's what it's really about. So anytime I can support a good cause, come out and change somebody's life, I'm all for it. We've been big in pushing the Seattle professional sports narrative. There's been, there's been a bunch of talk about the NBA expanding and potentially the Seattle Supersonics coming back to Seattle. What would that team mean for this city? It would mean everything, especially for the younger generation. Like, it's crazy for so long, kids haven't grown up with an NBA team. I remember that was that was everything for me, to come to a game and see Gary Payton be in the tunnel and slap them guys' hands. That made my dream more realistic. So hopefully within the next five years we get a team back so these kids can have, you know, realistic dreams of trying to make it. Obviously the NBA draft just occurred. And you know, there's those players who went undrafted or went probably later than they expected. What would be your advice to guys who may have fell in the draft or their role might not have been as ideal? Use it as motivation. You know, whenever your opportunity comes, take advantage of it and just use it as motivation. Make it a little a little bigger chip on your shoulder that they're still doubting you. I love that. I love that. Hey, what's, what's good, Killer? How you living? Hey, hey, in case y'all don't know, hey, I, I've been hoping with IT for a very long time. I, hey, it's, 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 since we was little. But so I'm, I'm going to go back. I'm going uh, to ask you about high school. They don't know about Curtis IT. Tacoma Dome, you pull up in the 20s. Curtis, Curtis uniforms is all blue. He pull up in the red 20s. How was you feeling that day? With the red socks. You know what's crazy? What's crazy about that? I didn't pull out the shoes till after we were done with our little team meeting because our coach wouldn't let us wear nothing other than the team colors. So that time I snuck out of there and then put on a historic performance. So shout out to my coach. Hey, <laughs> I'm telling you, I got chills right now because hey, it was bodies getting caught that day. It was, it was a cold day in Seattle. But man, what, what's up? How you, how you feeling tonight? You taking it easy or you going full speed? Hey, you know, when it's a, you can win or lose, I'm always going to go a little harder. Uh -huh. So, you know, I'm... I'm I'm predicting I'm going to be MVP, 
<laughs> yeah, we're going to yeah. win by a, a, a large margin, and we're going to put it on the show for the fans. All right, no doubt. Hey, shout out to Zeke in. You're you going to see us. We're going to have a team in there this year. Look, look August 5th and 6th, come out, Tacoma, Washington, Zeke in. The hottest hey. thing out. We're going to have our cameras there. We're going to be there. I'm going to be on the court. They're going to have the cameras, though. I found somebody, a Players' Choice alumni. I found somebody. Come here, come here. Point, How you doing, boss? Here, what it do, Pimp? What it do? How you doing? What's good, my boss? brother, hold on. My bad. I, my bad. You with this man, Phil? Phil, get out of the way, Phil, man. No, Phil's man. my guy. This, nah, this is our guy, too. I've been giving him a hard time today. But hold on, Rodney. You know you want player's choice right now. Player's choice. Player's choice. <laughs> <laughs> you been good, bro? Yeah. Yo, we got some quick questions for you, man. You know we got to rock with you. So, first things first. What you gonna do tonight, man? man? I haven't went up and down in a minute, but you know I've been playing a little bit of like two on two, three on three. I got a little bit of something in my game. If let's just see if, so, if let's just say if someone guards me, they're getting crossed over. So let me ask you a question. Richard Sherman is right over there. Oh, yeah. Is he on your? Oh yeah, yeah. He's in obviously shorts. I heard the scouting report says they're gonna put the future Hall of Famer on you to stop you tonight. You think he's gonna stop you? We're gonna find out. He gonna find out. Okay. We're going to find out. So, one thing we've been advocating for on Players' Choice is bringing the Sonics back to Seattle. Absolutely. You a big Washington guy. Yeah. You know, built your roots here. Yeah. What do you think the Sonics would mean coming back to Seattle? Um, it would mean a whole lot, man. You know, um, the crazy thing is, you know, my last year or my first year in the league was the last year the Sonics were in the league. And I, I couldn't even play because I broke my hand. Um, but just for the, the city, man, you know, uh, we need we need basketball. You know, this is this is a basketball city, uh, and we just need it. You know, just for the for the youth. You know, um, but the, the city needs it, and we're gonna we're gonna back them up. Can we get a stat line tonight? Any stat line? I'm trying to go for a good tw twenty, a good twenty plus, man. I'm getting buckets, bro. I'm, Doug Baldwin said he was going for thirty. I'm getting well. If he's getting thirty, I'm getting forty. <laughs> Hey. He's flexing right now. You know, three is flexing. What number you got? What number you wearing now? You wearing a three? Number two, baby. Number two? Okay. He got that deuce. He got that deuce on today. Okay, no three. Hey, yo. We here with Seattle. Seattle legend. Garfield legend. You dub all-time assist leader, Will Conroy. Hey, Will, you know what platform this is? Uh, uh, I, I don't, but you about to let me know. You know Player's Choice? You, may, you Maybe you did an interview with my brother Shaq. Hey, Will, I don't know if you remember me. We we used to hoop a lot. LA Fitness runs. We done played in a couple leagues. Did you beat me? I plead the fifth. All right, there we go. There we go. I'll plead the fifth. Right, go. Go. I, I plead the fifth. Well, what's up, man? How you feeling tonight? I feel good. I feel like we're doing something for a great cause when it's about helping the children. Uh, and giving back to the children that, so, so they can see, you know, guys that they aspire to be, give back. When they make it to this level, they'll give back so the cycle will continue. Uh-huh. No doubt, no doubt. I don't want to hold you up. I know you got to you gotta warm up and whatnot, even though you probably don't got to warm up to come out here and get, you I know. I an hour before I got here just so I didn't embarrass myself. No doubt, no doubt. But I just want to ask, how important is the NBA and the Sonics for the Seattle area? It's, it's, it's so important, man. It's, you know, people just want to be able to take their kids. It's a part of our life. It's a part. It's a part of the community. It's a part of everything that goes on when you have a pro team. You see all these Seahawks jerseys. You see Kraken jerseys. Now it's time to get our Sonic jerseys going back. No doubt, no doubt. I want to say I appreciate you for coming on the Players' Choice platform when you did in the past, and I appreciate you for coming on now. Go dogs. Yeah, appreciate you, boss. Yeah. What's going on, my man? How you doing today? I'm well. How are you doing? Hey, man, I'm doing great. I just want to say, man, I know you a Seattle prep legend, UW legend, man. I, I grew up watching you, so I just got to give you your props. Hey, from, from, from one one guy that grew up watching hoops from this young to where I am now, bro, you're, you're somebody who really inspired me, and I know you inspire basketball a lot in the Seattle area. But what I want to ask you is, how much does basketball mean to the area, and what does the Sonics mean to, to Seattle? I mean, it's, I've said it a million times, this is a basketball city. We, it, the Sonics were here first. They were our first champion. Uh, we, growing up, that's who we, we aspire to be. That's who gave us the dream of coming on this court when it looked a little different and, and be able to play here one day. So, you know, it's part of our DNA. We just got to gotta get it back. Outside of you and John Brockman, because you might be a little biased, who's the best Seattle Hooper? Actually, who's your favorite Seattle Hooper, past and current? Man, you're putting me on the spot there. I'm going to get in trouble for this. Uh, I know it's a lot. My uncle is my favorite past, and uh, current, 
I'm gonna have to pass on Kern. You go, all right, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, any any stat predictions tonight? Or are you taking it easy on everybody? We'll see how they, when the game gets going. We'll see how we're feeling, but no no stat predictions. We're gonna win though. All right, no doubt. When the Sonics come back, we might need you to come out of retirement. Uh, we'll see, but hopefully it's sooner than later. Hey, they might not know it, but he still got it though. He just being humble. Shout out Players Choice. Players Choice, where you come to get the best media. Players Choice, shout out to all you guys, man. Uh, you know, I was on there not too long ago, and I'm going to be back on there soon, man. So uh, shout out to all, all you guys that are watching. All love. Players Choice, IT, Tacoma, we in the building. Uh-huh, Tac Town in the building. You already know. Hey, Players Choice, tap in. Shout out to everybody out there. Tap in with Players Choice. Jamal Crawford, we in Seattle. We out here. We out here. It's nothing but love. I wish y'all was here, but you're here in spirit. Hey.